Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and a, another episode here on Monteith, Iowa. I believe this is episode 7 already, so, um, yeah, as you can, or, or just saw, and it's snowing. <laughs> uh, so, we've been at it, we got up and at it pretty early, um, to get the combine switched over to corn, because there's going to be no bean harvest here today. Even with this amount of snow, I mean, it's on the ground even. It's like laying on the ground, so. It's quite a bit, um, here in October. That's very unexpected. So, yeah, no bean harvesting today. We're switching over to corn. Don't want to let a day go to waste, um... Corn is very unaffected by moisture, um, so uh, we got ourselves a our corn head here. This is our corn head that we're going to be going with. It's a 4412F, so it's a folding case corn head. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I said in a past video that I was looking for a 12 row case corn head. I don't even know if this corn head is a real thing or not, but um, Snowman posted in my Discord a link to these. Um, they're a case New Holland uh, branded corn head. Uh, let's see. These here. So, this is the New Holland one of case one yeah like i said i don't even know if these are real things or not but whatever we're using them so um we got the quad track going right now in the field we just harvested the bean field we first harvested so i'm ripping that up we were having a lot of issues with the john deere 2700 chisel plow um so we did end up switching over to uh, this nine shank instead of the seven shank. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, this one's like the uh, center of it. Like when you run course play, it's like offset. So it like just doesn't work very well. It's very weird. It, it like skips. It has like skips between the between the passes i don't know it's just weird but whatever so we do still have that it's sitting down at the field maybe we'll bring it back and i don't know sell it off or something but um we have that nine shank that's going right now so yeah i mean we uh we're pretty much ready to go so we gotta get everything down to the field again we are gonna be doing after a save again, I think we're going to start out with field five. I think that's probably going to be the start, and then we'll jump across the road to field eight. Maybe we try and knock out field eight today. Since we're getting an early start, that might be a good idea. Knock out the big field, get that one done. I'm liking that idea. I'm liking that idea a lot. So, the fantastic thing about, about this head is that we can just fold it right up. <laughs> and we can drive down the road, and we can go through the gateways, and we're not going to have to block traffic or any of that stuff, and it's going to be awesome. Very cool. I was dead set on having a folding corn head, so... Just for these circumstances. Because we know how hard it is to get into these fields, so... And it's coming down. Probably not the greatest idea that we're getting out here, but every day counts right now for our operation, so we uh we gotta get 
we gotta get out here when we can, so and they would say that we still can at this point. I've seen people combine in much deeper snow, so we should be alright. Yeah, we're gonna start with the big field. I think that's I think that's the way to go. Let's knock it out when we have the opportunity. Hopefully tomorrow, October four, we can get back to beans. We can finish up the field. Uh we'll show you the progress on it. So we just have a little bit left of it, but it started raining on us. Um we had we it started raining almost right at eighteen hundred, so it was like five minutes until so could go in that entrance, but I think we're gonna go in this one. We gotta get that wrapper moved back to the house. Cows are still doing good. Probably should be bringing them in soon. Not too bothered by... By snow though, so... I mean, they're cows, so... We'll be fine. Might run over a few corn stalks here. It'll be okay. We're going to have to get the New Holland set up on the auger because we are going to be binning these, this corn. So, so this is just fantastic. Just get in here, no issues. Oh, hoo, 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 baby. How great is that? Three mile an hour seems about right. I'm good with going three mile an hour right now while it's snowing. I like that. That's a good job combine experience. Big fan of that. We're just going to be taking off some at these two end rows here. And then we'll probably open up a uh, another one along the east side of the field to get the trucks in. Give them a space to move. Move, move around a little bit, so. Gonna be a bit of a, bit of a process here, but that's okay. We got all day, we're starting early, unlike uh, with beans where I have to start <laughs> afternoon. I mean, obviously we could start earlier with beans, but going one mile an hour, not not exactly what I'm trying to do. Yields, not great. We got, as you can see, between the rows there, we do have a lot of weeds in here. This year, just a lot of weeds that popped up that couldn't get to. Unfortunately. So... Yield up there on that field 19 hasn't been the best, not compared to field 6. Field 6 was really good for beans. So, makes sense why we didn't really, we only have run one truckload of beans so far from that field, that north field. So hopefully the next few bean fields are going to be better. Hopefully we get a few good corn fields as well, but a first year on a save game is usually... Not the best, you know, as we all know. We're all farm sim players here, so. If we're not able to plant them and fertilize them and spray and all that stuff, usually you got a very reduced yield.
Oh, just to be expected. Must have hit a little bit of uh, weird ground there. We were digging into the ground a bit with the head. I was planning on going with the Olimac head, but I kind of, and, and like, it's cool because that one has the chopping function, but I kind of just like to see the stubble, to be honest with you. If we were to chop it, we, were gonna, we wouldn't be able to see the stubble and the crop destruction and stuff like that. So, I don't know. Just one of those things. Weird things. I mean, it sure would have probably helped us increase our yield because I usually don't chop our corn stock. I've never chopped corn stalks in FS. So I don't I don't really know how much it improves yields, but it's just not something that I see done at like ever. So I don't do it. Usually we just run the the chisel plow on a diagonal through them. It would probably be nice, actually, for chisel plowing, because you probably wouldn't get nearly as many uh, ball ups or clog ups or whatever in the chisel plow when you're running through them. Yeah, this is a big field though. This is going to take a while. Hopefully at some point it stops snowing today. To where we can kind of start combine a little bit faster. Get up to that 6 mile an hour and help get through it. But if we don't get through this field today. We'll probably finish it in October 4. Maybe... I don't know, that, that's kind of a tough decision, because do you want to take the time to switch over the combine? Prob I mean, probably, because we well, we're kind of on a tight deadline to get the beans done. This corn we can go all the way into February with. Or, not February, um, December and, and January if we need to, so... Soybeans, we only got October and November, so we got to make sure that we're getting them off. So, I think, probably, if we can... If we see a clear forecast for October 4, no snow, no rain. We'll probably be taking the time this evening. We'll probably start a little, or stop a little early this evening with these beans, or with this corn. Take the time to get the combine switched over possibly and then we won't really have to worry about not getting that field done so we got quite a bit of bean acreage left to go so May have just bumped the fence row there. Not gonna lie to you. That's kind of why I like to go in cab when we're making difficult maneuvers like that, just to kind of show how you know combine. It's kind of difficult to uh, see where you're going. Not always that you want to be backing up in a combine. skip over another row thinking yeah right on the money right on the money so we'll get uh, these end rows taken off get this one two probably on the east end and then 
we'll uh, get trucks and auger wagon and stuff up here. Probably only going to need one truck again because we can see this yield is pretty bad. So we're not going to be running too much. Too many trucks or anything. So one truck probably going to do it. We're pretty close to that uh, bin cell point. So should be plenty fine. So sometime later now we have our headlands off, we're doing three headland passes while well, we have our headlands off on the right side and the south side there, but work it's going to be working on the west side and the north side now, we have one off on each side over there. Um, but yeah, we have enough in the grain cart to dump into the truck at this point. Yields are very, very poor still. So, definitely will not be needing more than one truck. Would love to get two trucks going at once, but... Again, crop's not going to be the best. Unless you're the one that's planted it and had all year to manage it, so... It's going good though. It's slow. Sorry, bumped my mic. Sorry about that. It's slow, for sure. Um, but that's alright. That's how it's gonna be. Harvesting in the in the snow. I mean, honestly, at this point, we're more worried about like ground moisture than crop moisture. So, but we'll we're gonna drive this up to the north side of the field. Kind of. Well, probably could even just stop here yeah we'll probably just stop right here probably even shut her off because it's gonna be a while yeah we're going so let's get back into doing it manually big pet peeve of mine is how the uh Like on headlands, they like overlap. And they're just cutting out rows. And then when I jump in, I cut in and make sure we're taking all the rows we can. <laughs> yeah. The struggles of running course play and doing it yourself at the same time. ground's pretty good. I mean, it didn't... Well, I mean, it snowed, but... It snowed actually for a while, I think. It was snowing since, like, 2 o'clock last night, so... There's definitely plenty of snow, but the ground's still doing alright. Not having any slippage or anything in the combine or the green cart. We'll see about the truck turning around in the field, but it should be okay. Corn, you get a lot of sturdy roots and stuff that you can grip onto with tires, so it's not as not as slippy. And then in the field down here, we're ripping it. The chisel plow, we got tracks on it, so we got four quad tracks, or we got a quad track with four tracks on it, so that's not going to be much of an issue either, so. We're set up to battle the winter conditions, so. Speed is increasing, we're up to five. So that's kind of nice, but yeah, take a look at the yields here. Not great. Uh, let's look at the full yield map. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're 
dead red up here on the north side, but we got, I mean, we're plant or we're harvesting out of loam, so that's kind of why loam is not the best. But it's more prominent up here on the north, a little bit around the end rows on some of our south fields, but that's it, so that's good. Some crops do better in loam, but corn, not so much. Corn's not a fan of the loam soil, so. Mm. We should be able to make it over to the green cart. It'll be close. If anything, we'll just pull them over here, but... Yeah, we're getting her done. 32 degrees. Holy cripes. It's a cold October. Only mid-October right now. 32 degrees? Holy moly. It's not cool. Look at the trees. Look at the snow on the trees. It's awesome. Beautiful. This map is awesome. Really loving it. I'll probably say that every video, so, yeah. But we'll keep at her. I'm going to see you in a while. Finally now, just starting the up-down, so it's making a cut-through to do its lands passes or whatever you want to call it so um but we should have plenty of corn in the wagon to dump into the bin so we're gonna top up the the truck head back to the farm where the bins are got to get the new holland hook that up to the auger get that all set up and then uh we'll be able to dump into the bins Probably should have done that first, but we should have plenty of time to do all that and get back before the combine even needs an unload, so we will be A-OK. -okay. Should fill it all up, I would imagine. Had a little bit in there already, so. Have a full load going down. Truck should drive fine through the snow as well. Oh. Oh yeah, she's pulling her. The old Volvo has the bonies to do this. Look at her go. Beast of a truck. Love it. Love this truck. There's a two, uh, or 2700 just a blouse in there <coughs> on the edge of the fields. And slowly but surely it's getting chisel plowed. Not a very big implement. That's why we gotta keep up with the tillage. Maybe that's something we'll spend our money on. We'll get a bigger newer tillage tractor, that'd be kind of nice. Or another tractor. A third tractor. That we can run tillage with. Ugh. I'm sleepy today. But, 
going away on a little weekend vacation with my wife and daughter. So I'm grinding out the videos in hopes to get some, a few recorded. Ahead of time, so we'll see about that, but... I don't know how I'm gonna go about this. Where do we want to put... Auger. Gonna be the best way to do this. Hmm. Enough room where we can... Oh, you can go. Oh, come on. Really? I appreciate the caution, but I'm a little excessive. Gonna be doing this on the fly, trying to figure this out. It'd be nice to get these beans off so we can utilize the field maybe a bit. This auger, I think you have to hit X. So why can't I? Is the mouse control on the tractor taking over right now? Oh boy. So it's not letting me move it up and down. That would be very annoying. Let's see. No, nope, that's not gonna do it. Not gonna do it either. Okay. Okay, so we're going to see if this works with the case. Might have to get ourselves an old old tractor to just run the auger with. I don't know. Is the mouse control on this runs the window and the door? It looks like that's kind of overriding. The auger. This isn't exactly the tractor that we want on this. A little big. <laughs> Little big. Ah, see, there we go. Okay, so it's just the tractor. This should work in this position. Thinking. Let's see. We do some precision backing up here. We're gonna hit the duel. I 
Uh, hitting the duel. Yeah, we might need to pick ourselves up a an old tractor to run the just run the PTO on this. All right, let's see. Okay. It looks like we need to open the top of these bins, I believe. Maybe. At least in the placeable version you have to. Oh, combine is a fool. So... What am I missing? We'll see you in a bit once we get this figured out. But we got it figured out. This was like the only piece of land that we didn't have purchased. So this is an individual piece that you have to purchase. The south side of the farm there. So. And she, uh, she, she doesn't unload very quick. That's for sure. We got the combine sitting right now. This isn't ideal. Never want the combine to be sitting. But that's alright. We're figuring it all out. But once we get back, we can hop straight into the grain cart, get her unloaded. That's the plan. Here's the next question. Can we get her through here? That's tight. With a big 40 or 50 foot trailer. Uh, ignore that we kind of bumped the auger there, you know? Don't worry. Just ignore that. Yeah, that's pretty tight. That takes some maneuvering. We're definitely, uh, the equipment we got, I think, is, uh, has outgrown this farm setup. That's for sure. We're coming. We're coming, Combine. Don't, don't you worry. Probably have to empty the rest actually quick. Rest of what's in here might as well while we're here, right? Hustling. Can you feel the rush right now? Oh shoot. Accidentally flipped the stalled the tractor. Alright, let's go. Let's get him unloaded. Zipping across at 32 mile an hour. Absolutely be bouncing out of the seat right now. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm thinking that a nice little uh, updated tillage tractor would be sweet next year. I think we're going to have plenty of money for it. Just saying. A little Steiger. That would be pretty slick, huh? I put this pipe in so we're not touching pipes. Nobody wants to cross pipes. Not good for anybody. Vehicle Speed Sync mod is one of my favorites. If you've never used it, definitely give it a go. Good one. Just click a button. Don't have to adjust your cruise control all the time. It's nice. Very nice. She's empty. Oh, we're just going to keep plugging away. You know the drill. Plugging away. It's going to be a big one. Big job. Big, big job. I highly doubt we'll be uh, finished with this field by the end of the day. That's that's a big ask, but we'll see. I honestly don't know. So, but, yeah, highly doubtful, so... We'll uh, catch you in a bit. About 3.44 now. Got our first group of lands passes off. We're working on our second. Show you on the map where we're at, how much we got done. A little progress update. So you see that we're making our cut throughs here now. Make another one, come back down, we'll make another one, and then we'll finish this one off, and then we'll start a whole new section. So, that's how it's going. Um, this, whenever I look at it, is bothering me, because I really want to get that field finished. And then, just uh, plow's going, and you're still going. Hopefully, this will be done by the end of the day. That's the goal. So then we can get him into this field, and we're done here. Probably could even start getting them working up on the bean field. Yeah, because that needs plowing as well. So a lot of these do need plowing, unfortunately. So we're going to try and get as much done this year as we can. We don't think that we're going to get through it all. We're just going to focus on the corn fields so we can break up those stalks. Um, and then we'll try and get the... Maybe we'll rip some headlands and stuff between um, or next spring or something at least instead of just chisel plowing the whole field. So probably ought to lift up there. Get too too busy talking. I'm gonna put my corn near my combine in the in the ditch. My corn bine. So yeah, we're going, going, um, been editing videos between, um, recording sessions here, um, so we got pretty much this whole video edited, just gotta get the last little bit here, uh, and finish up the video, so have ourselves about probably a third or a 40 minute video with this one episode seven so like i said we're going away so i'm trying to really grind out some videos to have for you guys over the weekend so we've been going so good with having a video every day for like the last three weeks to a month i think at this point so yeah i'm having fun with it um unfortunately i'm not gonna have enough to put out every day while I'm gone. We're leaving tomorrow night, Thursday night, as of recording this, it's 8.16, so we are leaving on the 17th. After my wife gets home from her job, and so, yeah, it's... We're uh, gonna be gone till Sunday, so...
green cart was pretty much in the perfect spot. <laughs> A little tight to the row, but pretty much perfect. Um, dumped already again the truck. Uh, this load here should fill the truck up again, so it's going to be the third load. Oh, so we got ourselves. I think when I checked last, it was like four, or like eighty thousand liters or something. I don't know that bushel conversion, but yeah, I think it's about eighty thousand liters. So, we're going, but that's probably going to be the end of this video. We'll set this off again as a worker. Hop in the old Magnum, run it down to the truck, grab the truck, dump it in the bins, you know, over and over again. It's a circle of life during harvest season <laughs> so uh yeah but i'm enjoying it third third different field we've been in here so far and we're still going strong no no fatigue on my end we're still doing her so i guess with that that's uh all we're gonna say for this episode i appreciate you for watching and we will catch you in the next video